Anyway. All right, let's get down to business. Hello, welcome back for another try on. This time we're here for navigation and I think we're all excited for the Contour 2.0, which we'll get into really soon. But first, how freaking cool you guys. I'm officially a navigation athlete. I still remember the first time I was in the gym and I saw a girl wearing some khaki pro shorts and I thought, wow, I really like those shorts. I really need those. And they were sold out online as navigation usually is because it's so nice. <sighs> I don't know. It's just a dream and I'm so excited. So I do have a support code for this launch, which is on May 20th, 10 a.m. EST, 7 a.m. PST. It's Lydia, if you'd like to support me. I'm already living kind of in like a little bubble. I got to go to Tampa to shoot with them and it was so fun. Like I, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe it, I'm on the page. I'm, it's pretty cool. All right, so let's get into it. Launch is May 20th, 10 a.m. EST, 7 a.m. PST. Set your alarms because this stuff is gonna sell out. It just is. Um, I remember when I was a first time shopper and when I shopped with them for many, many years, I set my alarm for 6.50 a.m. my time. I have a reminder at 6.55, I'd be in bed, half asleep, my computer and my credit card, and I'd be like, in and out. I feel like they've done better stocking their items though, so that's good because I feel like I've even gone on like a couple hours past launch and there's still been some stuff, but I still say if you're serious about what you want to get, have a game plan, get in, get out. That being said, let's go over my measurements. So I am 5'2", I weigh about 125 to 128 pounds. My bra size is a 32C and I have about a 25 inch waist. So I prefer my sports bras in a size small from this launch. There are a few that I probably could have done an extra small and been really comfy with, but I'll get into that as we go. Um, and then I'm an extra small across the board in terms of bottoms. I ordered one pair of shorts in a small and we'll get into that. And I'm an extra small, I shouldn't have sized up. So let's get into it. Tons of really fun stuff launching this launch. When I saw what was coming out and what I could choose from, I was like, navigation has leveled up. And if this is the direction that we're already seeing them go in, I am so excited for the future. Um, I think they've done some really nice adjustments to their contour leggings. Again, like I think one of the first pairs of leggings I ever owned were the gray contour leggings. So of course I had to snag the gray contour 2.0 leggings. Launch, there are some really exciting contour 2.0 leggings releasing. I'm sure you've heard of it. You're excited about it. You should be, they're amazing. I don't want to compare them to another brand that I also love. If you've seen me on Instagram, you've probably seen me wear it a lot, but I would say it's a hybrid. It's a navigation something hybrid which is great because it brings in aspects of both of my favorite leggings that i own and kind of like combined it into one this launch we have new leggings new colors in sports seamless sports seamless shorts sports seamless shorts that's a tongue twister releasing for the very first time, as long as some brand new bras and some really nice items restocking. So we'll go over that kind of towards the end of the video. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, the Contour 2.0 leggings. So they added a scrunch, they changed some of the contouring. They still have the same glute contour as like the original leggings, but the material is different. I think it's, it's nylon and spandex, but it's softer. It's softer and super stretchy. Super stretchy, compressive waistband, but doesn't dig into you because I do have some leggings that like, I come home and it's like, I gotta take them off immediately. These ones, like I've come home, I've eaten dinner. In fact, I train legs early in the day. I went for sushi and now I'm doing my try on and I'm like, eh, I'm comfy in these. I'm good, which I really like because I hate feeling tied off. Like if you're working out in the evening and you just feel bloated from the day and they're just cutting into you, that is the worst feeling ever. 
So I find that the waistband comes up at a really nice height that it just holds you in, but it doesn't cut you off. It's very comfortable. Um, another thing that they've changed about the legging, they've made the contouring a lot more subtle, which I think is really nice. Compare the two, I have original contour, contour 2.0. Um, right off the bat, the color is actually different. So this is like their original gray and this is the new gray. I would say that the new gray is a truer gray, whereas the older one is a little bit more, like has a bit more mauve in it. I don't know, you see what I mean. Um, but otherwise, bum scrunch here, a little upper glute contouring, no bum scrunch, and just the classic low contour, which the new ones have as well. In terms of the front, again, this is like your original like thigh contour, which is really nice. It shapes your legs really well. Um, but I personally prefer this new subtle contour a little bit more. I just think it's, it's just more subtle. It's more versatile. You can wear it day to day. You can wear it to run errands. Like you're not like, oh, I'm wearing workout leggings. You're like, oh, I'm wearing nice leggings and I can dress it up, dress it down wear it running errands or wear it to the gym and feel good in it. The contouring, the glue contouring is like up here and then it kind of comes down and it wraps around the calves really nicely. But yeah, I think I'm converted. I'm officially a contour 2.0 gal. When I felt the material for the very first time, it's so, it's so silky compared to this. Like this is still really soft and stretchy as well, but they've just leveled up on their material a little bit. Those leggings are coming in black, gray, and olive. So I am I have the olive as well. I didn't get the black because <laughs> when I was ordering, I just thought I have so much black and we're going into summer. After seeing everyone wear it, I fully regret it and I'm probably gonna buy it on launch because black is a staple, black is classic, and who doesn't want a beautiful pair of black leggings. They just contour you so well too. Like I think sometimes when you wear black, it kind of like your your features, your glutes, they don't pop, but they definitely do with this like new upper and lower contouring detail. Um, it just looks really sleek, but flattering. So I think I'm gonna snag a pair. I'm wearing an extra small in these. I've taken an extra small in the contour, the original contour leggings. So I just stuck with my same size. I like a little bit of a compressive fit. So I like when everything fits snug and I don't have a lot of excess material. However, if you don't, or I mean, if you have like massive glutes, you could potentially size up. Um, but I would stay true to size. I think they hug perfectly. I think they mold you really nicely. Um, and I don't really think that you need to in this case. So they've got a super high waistband. I kind of roll it down a little bit because I am a little bit shorter and I like a little bit more torso to show, but you don't have to wear them like this. And then you can see the paneling down the side of the leg. And then I'm gonna come up close, get up close and personal. This is them folded over. They've got the classic navigation there, the glue contouring, the scrunch. What I noticed in my workout today when I was wearing them, Sometimes when you like hike a scrunch up, you really feel it between the cheeks. And I'm okay with that. But I was noticing how comfortable it is that when they're up there, you don't actually feel it. Like it feels very subtle, but it does a lot of work because of I think the contouring around it. But I'm a big fan. Very, very like stretchy, stretchy, but like they are holding me in, in all the right places. Like, I feel snatched. Snag a pair, snag a pair, snag them all. You don't have to snag them all. You don't even have to shop this launch. Like, clothes are clothes if it's not in your budget. Ignore this, maybe this will be helpful in the future. I do wanna say that as a reminder, but if you do have a budget, like if you have a little bit of a budget for this launch and you do wanna buy some things, buy a pair of these leggings. You won't regret them. I have gone ahead and put on the gray. The gray is a staple. Here they are, high-waisted, super flattering on the glutes. 
under glute contour, upper glute contour, scrunch, roll them down if you have a short torso like me, but very flattering, very cellulite friendly. Um, and then just as I was putting this on, I would say make a note, as you would with any scrunch leggings that you would put on, make sure that you're not sticking your nails through the paneling. Um, there are other leggings I wear that have similar paneling and it's like you really wanna kinda like pinch and pull. This is probably more prone to go, your nail going through it if you have longer nails like me. Um, and then when you're putting on your scrunch so that you don't rip it, because I have done that in the past with other leggings, <laughs> I like to go from the sides like this and work it up and then pull up here. So I'm never pulling on the scrunch. I'm never putting too much tension. I'm never digging in to any of those sensitive areas so that it's going to rip. I cried last time I ripped a pair. Don't be like me. Those are the Contour 2.0 leggings. Um, anything that they have here, high-waisted seamless, subtle glute scrunch, I agree with that, compressive waistband, thigh, glute, contour, shading, lightweight, soft, stretchy, 100% yes. I like to wear shorts a little bit more in the summer than leggings, but I will tell you we're going through a heat wave here right now, and it's hot. And I wore those in the gym today, I felt like a second skin, like I wasn't overheating and they're very sweat proof, which is good as well. In terms of squat proofness, I'm gonna say black is squat proof. Olive is squat proof, 100%. I wore it today. Gray, we're gonna test out together right now. This is always the weird part. I'd say that they're squat proof. Um, it's just the nature of this material and I'm stretching it, but I would definitely say they're squat proof. Always wear a nude seamless thong if you're worried about that um, or go commando if you're daring. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not daring enough. Um, I feel too exposed. But uh, yeah, if you stick to like a nude seamless thong, like you're gold, there's nothing to see and it matches your skin. So. Time for the contour seamless shorts. These are some of my favorite shorts. I just think they're personally the perfect inseam. They're not as long as a biker. They're not as short as a short short. And they kind of, they don't ride up, but like where they end up is just the perfect length. The perfect shortness if you like a longer short and the perfect shortness if you prefer a shorter short. It covers your bum. You can roll it up so it scoops under your bum if that's your thing. Um, or you can pull them down and leave them long. So they're super versatile and they don't they don't ride, but you can hike them up there. So this launch, these shorts are coming in ocean blue, which I'm, this one might be my personal favorite. Sage green and then periwinkle. It's kind of, it's, it's hard for me to decide. I think I'm just, I just love ocean blue because I shot in them and that's a, that's a core memory for me. But um, all these colors are super gorgeous for summer. Uh, they haven't changed. They've released these before. They've got the glue contouring. They've got the contouring that goes down the leg. In terms of like subtleness, they're all pretty subtle. Like the periwinkle, it's not too contrasty, which is nice. I don't, I don't like when it's like, it's just pure contrast. Um, same with sage green, kind of just blends. You don't really notice it too much, but it does its job. And then maybe if I was gonna say the most contouring one that you'd see is the ocean blue, but like it's not, a, it's not aggressive. It doesn't bug me, it's still really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and try those on and then we'll get into it a little bit more. I put on the contour shorts in ocean blue. So I'm wearing an extra small in these shorts. I wear an extra small in the pro shorts. I wear an extra small in the contour shorts. We'll get into the sports seamless shorts. <laughs> um, but yeah, extra small. I have them at the full length. So as you can see, they can be that biker length that you want or they have the a little luxury and material to hike them up as you please. So from the front, sit kind of just above my belly button. I actually never feel that I have to like roll these ones down, um, but I mean, if I do want to, I can just roll them down like a little tiny, tiny bit. From the side, a little contouring, and back, 
glute contouring, and they're seamless, so there's no scrunch. How cool would it be if they did contour 2.0? Scrunch pro shorts. I'm just gonna say that. These shorts are super, super comfy. They hold you in nicely. I'm not cut off. Nothing's digging. Um, they're so stretchy around the legs. So like, if you have bigger legs than me, you're good. You're good. This is a size extra small. I, I say stay true to size. If you have pro shorts or contour, the colors all fit the same. None of them kind of fit bigger or smaller. Um, just very true to size across the board. In terms of squat proofness, like these are squat proof. I do leg days in these. These are like a go-to. Super cute, super flattering. I always feel good when I put on shorts. And I, I actually used to prefer the pro shorts, but I got a pair of contour shorts around Christmas and I was, well, I wasn't changed, but I love them equally. They're the same short, just, it is nice to have that contouring sometimes, like in the gym or taking pictures, like it's nice to have the definition of the underglute, in my opinion. Okay, here is periwinkle. So, quick little view, quick little squat test. Again, squat proof, another leg day staple. Um, and I, I forgot to mention what I had on the ocean shorts. No front seam, as you can see. Camel toe, we do not know her. I don't get, ta I don't get camel toe in any of the items that I've tried on. And I like, I put them up my butt. <laughs> I do, I hike them up there. Um, I have heard from some girls who are like, how do you hike them up and you don't get camel toe? Um, if you're experiencing that issue, seamless thong, Make sure it's new because as they kind of get old, they like roll and they just, they don't work the same. Um, you can always put in a liner or if you, if when you hike them up, just, you know, readjust, readjust because they don't actually sit in there. I have never had a camel toe navigation. So those are my little tips just in case you are experiencing that. But yeah. All right. Save green, grand finale of the contour shorts. So, subtle contouring down here, glute contour here, super flattering, cute for summer, great with a tan, and then squat proofness again. Oops, you can't see that. They're squat proof. I know they're squat proof. I've done leg day in them. <laughs> so next up, sport seamless shorts. So these are new. I love these, but I'm sad, and I'll tell you why. At Christmas, I ordered the sports seamless leggings in an extra small, because I'm an extra small on all bottoms. And for some reason, I don't know if it was because it was Christmas and you have a few extra pounds on you, they fit me like a glove. Like they looked snatched. That waistband does wonders and I loved it. I just thought, mm, maybe I'd be more comfortable in a small. Well, lesson learned because I sized up in the shorts and they're too big on me. So I think actually I'm gonna have to buy a pair of extra smalls and launch because I, I love these. I tried wearing them. I'm a personal trainer. I wore them at work and I was like, yeah, I can get away with these. And then every time I saw myself in the mirror, I'm like, there's, there's way too much excess material. They're not my size. I'm an extra small. So I will put these on and you'll see what I mean. But if you're thinking, mm, should I size up in this item? Stay, stay true to size. Don't be like me. They're so stretchy. Sports seamless shorts. So, the waistband that I was talking about, it snatches you in. Sometimes I feel like when a waistband is placed like right here, you can feel like you're like bulging down here or like up here, but it's like, it's just wide enough that it sits well. So I will say that. But I think you can see, like look how much extra material I have. I took photos in these and like, I couldn't use any of them because it, it doesn't give the shorts a fair go. And like in the back, again, pull them up as much as you want. I just have like, look at all this material. I should not have sized up. What was I thinking? But like, do you see how stretchy these are? Like, stretchy. Stay true to size. I wouldn't say size down, but stay true to size. Okay, so the sports seamless shorts that I just had on are coming in the olive color, which I was just wearing, periwinkle, so that pretty purpley blue, charcoal, which, would probably be the next color that I would personally snag because I just, I love gray um, and black. 
Before I move on to the bras, I just want to go over the sport seamless leggings colors that are launching. So you've got periwinkle, pretty purpley blue, navy, which is like an electric blue, which is really pretty, sage green, and black. Okay. Let's go over sports bras. So there are four new sports bras launching and then there are tons restocking. So we'll go over some of the restocks towards the end, but I just want to cover some of the newer ones first. Um, starting with the bra that I'm wearing. This is the Passion Seamless Bra. I did not know how I felt about it when I saw it in the catalog. And when I put it on, I was like, hmm. yeah, I love it. These are the two bras this sorry this bra in the two colors that i got the black and white are the ones that i've been wearing the most from this launch in terms of new bras so this is the white color i also have it in black which i will try on for you and then it does also come in sage green and periwinkle so that you can match the contour sets if you would like if you're tight on money do what i did i got black and white and you can mix and match it with everything um, if you go on my Instagram, I also have in my navigation highlight for this launch, I've worn it with like a cute silky skirt and what's really cute about these is the back. So you could actually wear this with like jeans or a skirt and it's so cute. It's really, really flattering. It's such a unique back. I've never seen it before. So it's asymmetrical, one shoulder. Um, nice and stretchy, that seamless material. If you own the Invincible bra, it's the same material. Um, I will say with the Invincible bra, I'm a true small. With the Passion Seamless bra, I did get a small in everything. And I mean, I've been wearing it, like it's really comfortable. I potentially could do an extra small as well if I wanted. If you just want like a little bit more or maybe like a little less material this way, you could size down but be aware like my small which is my true size it is very very comfortable and here is the bra in black nothing digs in beautiful back i feel very supported again i have a bit of a smaller chest um the strap though because it is like on the thicker side i do think it holds everything up really well and it, it doesn't slide down a ton i'm not constantly like it's annoying like it's, it stays kind of where it needs to be it comes with a removable padding so if you don't like padding you can take it out if you do like me I leave it in I actually have to take my hat off for navigations padding I think it's really nice padding <laughs> and it does wonders if you have smaller boobs like hello I actually have something going on I have a boost of confidence <laughs> last thing I will say is this does not dig in. Like this is not uncomfortable or wearing at me throughout my workout or if I'm wearing it throughout the day, like if I've gone from the gym somewhere else, it's it, it's perfect. So maybe actually if you did size down to an extra small, maybe it would be a little, this would be a little bit tighter. I didn't think about that. Um, but I still, I still think I could also wear an extra small. I've gone ahead and changed into the Inspire Seamless Bra. I'm wearing a size small in this. I wouldn't size down in this. I'm true to size in this. Seamless, scoop, neckline, medium impact. I would say this actually has a little bit more impact. Like for my chest size, I would go for a run in this. Um, removable padding. And then I will show you the fun back design, but it's coming in black, white, sage green, this one, and periwinkle as well. Ta-da! So it's very cute. They call it a star strap design. When I first saw this, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be very honest. I bought it and I was like, hmm, if I don't love the design, I could cut th these two little straps off. And then you would just have like a little cute open back design. But I decided I'm not going to because I actually do really like the bra as is. But if that's something maybe holding you back, but you kind of like the bra, maybe that's an idea. Here is the front of the bra. What's really nice is it has really good coverage on the side, but it's not digging into like my little armpit fat area. Like I'm not uncomfortable. I actually think it's cut like literally perfectly. It's a little bit shorter in terms of like the bra length. So if you don't like a long line bra, 
This one's maybe a bit more for you. Um, but I find it a very versatile and comfortable bra. So I, I actually do like this bra, I will say. Quickly, I'm gonna go over some of the bras I didn't get. I've seen them on the other girls, they look really nice. I'm just, I don't love a, like a higher neckline. So I, I didn't get them, but the Legacy Sport Seamless bra is also launching. So if you want something to match the Sport Seamless leggings or shorts, uh, this one's coming in black, sage green, navy, and periwinkle, high impact, seamless, razorback, full coverage neckline, back mesh detail, removable padding. And I, I'm assuming it's this same nylon spandex material, probably the same material as the sport seamless leggings if you've owned them. Um, but yeah, that is that one. And then the other one that's also launching, which is, they say medium impact, but honestly to me, it looks like it would be good for high impact, uh, is the Trilogy Sport Seamless Bra, which is this guy. And it's coming in amethyst, so a purpley color, Cosmo, which is the pink, and then Lagoon, which is a blue color. Um, so this one, yeah, they said it's medium impact. I think that looks like it would be high impact. That's just me. Seamless removal padding, back cutout design. You can see it there. And nylon spandex again. Last item I want to go over that's newer to me before we go into the restocking items is actually a men's item and I'm so excited about it because I love a good pump cover. Um, it's the Tech Fitted T. Uh, Navigation kind of like stopped doing their men's line, but now they're kind of bringing it back and I'm I'm kind of wanting every color in this t-shirt I'm about to show you. Um, it's this guy right here. It's so soft. It's this like Modal, I think I hope I said that right, um, and spandex blend. Like, look how slinky it is. It's it's incredibly soft, and I wish I got more colors. I'm probably gonna get colors at launch because it's it's like a go-to pump cover for me, especially in the summer. Like, it's it's really lightweight, and it's not like you're not like dying. You're not dying of heat when you wear it. Um, but yeah, for those gym days where you just like don't want to be in a sports bra and you, or maybe it's like a different vibe you're going for, I'm in love with these. I got a size large. I really like it. It looks really good uh, with the leggings. I think I could do a medium or a large. Um, I feel like I'd probably just like lose maybe some length on the medium, which would be fine for me. It has come in black and crimson before, which is like a really pretty red. Um, and it is coming in those colors, but it is also coming in white, gray, navy, sage green, and khaki. And I have the khaki. So I'll show that to you real quick. So if you want to buy it for a boyfriend uh, or yourself, I think it's a really good item for for anyone. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and show you. Here it is on me. I'm so short, I'm trying to stay in camera. Kinda hits me just past like where I usually have my shorts. So kinda top of my legs, back. But what I like to do with these, I like to tuck them into my sports bra. So cute, so in right now. And actually I said medium, but I, I seeing this, I haven't worn this with shorts yet and I, I still, I like the large. So maybe keep that in mind if you're buying it for your boyfriend, you might want to go on to like those XL or like, I'm not sure if they're going to have an XXL, but you might want to really size up in it. Sleeves hit me just kind of before my elbows. Yeah, this is it. It's also very thin, which I really like. Like not like thin, like cheap, like just like a good, nice quality thinner shirt. The logo right here, that's the only branding there is. So very, very, very minimal branding. That's the only place you're gonna see it, which is also really nice. It's not in your face. Hey, we're almost there guys. Um, let's quickly talk about restocking bras. So this is a big restock. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Invincible bra that I have on right now is probably my favorite bra. Um, my package is on the way. These bras didn't come, so I don't have them. They might be coming tomorrow, they might be coming Friday, uh, but just getting a little tight on time and I wanted to make this video. But this bra is restocking. So 
it's a perfect length it's not too long shows enough for your torso and then here is the back it's the open back that we all love right now shows off the back gains cute for a pull day cute for whatever day very supportive actually like even though there isn't even though the straps aren't super thick in the back like this thing has me covered, which I really like. Uh, not adjustable, so I would say definitely stay true to size, do not size down in this bra. Um, they weren't actually going to restock it for this launch, but because it was in such high demand, they are. So it's coming in black, white, periwinkle, sage green, ocean blue, and taupe, which I'm assuming is gonna be similar to this color. All right, next is the Eclipse Seamless Bra. So this guy right here, which is the open back. I actually have this one in every color. It's another one of my favorites. It looks really good with all of the contour shorts that it matches, or if you do a black or white or gray that matches with another color. Um, it's restocking in all colors. That mint color that I just had, the gray, the white, and the black. So that is your Eclipse Bra. And I also, I'm gonna double check. Oh no, actually, note, I took an extra small on this bra. I'm not a small on this. I'm an extra small on this. Good, I checked. This bra is another one of my favorites. This is the dream bra, so it's very simple and nice on the front. I'm not gonna try every bra on because I'm sure this video is getting long, but it sits really nicely. Again, it's a bit of a shorter line bra, so shows the torso, and then it's really nice on your back as well. It's this kind of like V detail that shows all the right things off. This is the taupe color. It is also coming in black, white, and Caribbean, which is that very, very bright blue. I'll show it to you right here. So here are the colors, that's the blue. And that's what the bra looks like on. The Essence bra is restocking in mocha, white, and black. Removable padding, low cut back. It looks like it's a long length, long line length bra um, and has high impact. So that's what that guy looks like. The Poise bra is also restocking in black and white. So low medium impact, long line length, removable padding, Double strap detail, nylon spandex, so it's probably gonna be the same material as like these, Invincible, the Seamless, Passion one that's coming. That's this guy. Ignite bra. I remember, I, I have owned this bra. I love the way it looks, but for me, see they say low, medium impact. For me, it was like a high impact and I just felt it was a little bit too restraining. But I do love it. I do love it on other people. Um, so I think I remember I got a small on that. Actually, I think I got an extra small. That's why I got rid of it, because it was too tight. So I would get a small on this. Um, maybe if I got a small, I, I might have liked it a bit better. It is a really cute bra. Um, and that's going black, white, scarlet, so red, tangerine, sage green, and aqua. And that one has a clasp, just to note if you don't own it, that one has like kind of like almost like an adjustable bra strap clasp in the back. Heel bra. So that's this guy. This is like an OG navigation bra. I remember this. I've seen this one in the gym. I've never owned one. I've always wanted one. I've debated one from this launch. Um, if I did, I'd probably get the khaki green. That's the one that would be on my list. But it is coming in lavender, mocha, scarlet, white, and black. And I, I'm assuming I'll just get a small on that for reference. That one says it's a medium high impact. And I, I do see that because it has an adjustable band and it, it's not su it's not like as low as this. I feel like it's a, a slightly bit higher. Flourish bra. Oh, I've owned many of these. I really like them. I'm just, I'm, I don't wear them a lot right now because I kind of like a, a shorter sports bra, but these are really nice because you can also kind of just wear them as tank tops. Like they look really good with like jeans when you're just going out. Um, if that's what you're into as well. Um, the back's really pretty on these guys. Low medium impact, which I would definitely agree with. Seamless removable padding, back strap design, nylon spandex, it's the same material. Um, and that's coming in mocha, clementine, scarlet, fuchsia, and 
lavender. Alex C. Ribbed Seamless Bra. Uh, I have also owned that one. I've ran in that one. It has good support, even though it says it says here it's low medium support. But if you have smaller, if you have a smaller chest, I would definitely say it's it's at least medium. I've ran in it. Um, seamless. It is ribbed, so keep that in mind. Um, it's got this like back detail, which is very cool. Um, and then that's coming in bubblegum pink, periwinkle, teal, aqua, fuchsia, burnt orange, and mocha. I remember, that's a very comfortable bra. Then open back tee coming in bubblegum pink, mocha, white, black. That's this guy. I love this. I love this one. I just, I just don't wear shorts like that. But whenever I see people wearing it, it looks beautiful it looks really really nice on the back um that one also does have removable padding so you don't have to worry about wearing a sports bra under and they actually say it's medium to high impact matrix bra i have had this bra um and this one's restocking in a ton of colors i hope you can see those there you go this one's restocking in a ton of colors sapphire blue scarlet coral lilac black white mocha khaki green and pastel yellow it's definitely medium to high impact it's a long line length what i did when i used to wear this was i i would tuck it up like if you see the back detail i would just tuck one notch up there and then it was the perfect length like i i really do like the cut of that bra like on my shoulders and everything for me it's just a little bit long but if you like a longer sports bra i really like the matrix bra allure this is a classic i own this i definitely a size small don't size down um mocha canary yellow monarch candy pink black white monaco purple and capri blue those are just some og colors this is an og bra it's got a really cute open back and it's just simple on the front and then it also is a shorter bra it sits just under the bust which is really nice it looks very very good with the navigation shorts revolve bra is restocking black white mocha aqua low medium impact that's what it looks like on and those are colors we're almost there elevate seamless bra bubblegum pink black and white low medium impact v neckline and it has ribbed accents this is this bra i've never owned it but i have heard from girls in the previous launches that this was like one of their favorite bras of the launch it seems pretty simple um and it's i think it'd be very flattering looks like it just sits under the bust as well so a bit of a shorter line if you like those open back tees again there's the Vortex seamless bra top, seamless peekaboo cut, short sleeve, high medium impact removal padding in khaki green, mocha white, or black. So that's that guy. And those are the colors. The last bra restocking is the Serene seamless bra. It's also a short sleeve one, low medium impact, cap sleeves, deep V cut back removal padding, seamless in black and white. So. I feel like you could also wear that with jeans. That would be cute. But very simple, very classic. Navigation also has a thong with an elastic waistband and cotton. It's cotton and spandex. Uh, I didn't know this, so I've never ordered this. But if you read this, it says it's designed to pair perfectly under the seamless leggings. So the waistband is supposed to hit perfectly where the seamless, where the legging band starts, if that makes sense. So I've never tried these, but I do know girls that have like, that hype them up. So I've, I really want to try them. It's coming in nude. That's a new color. And then it's restocking in black and white. So that's what it looks like. And those are the colors. Whew, we have one item left and it's not for you ladies. Men or girls for your men. They are restocking their boxer briefs in black. Logo waistband, sweat wicking, Soft and supportive con spandex, central base layer. That is your men's underwear. Or if you want to sleep in it, ladies. That's cute too. Okay, that's it. That is, that is the May 20th launch. I feel like I talked a lot. So if you made it through till the very end, thank you. Again, launch is May 20th, 10 a.m. EST, 7 a.m. PST. Make sure you are 
in and around the site before 7 a.m. The stuff is gonna go. I hope, I hope they have enough stock, um, but I would just make sure you kind of like plan out what you want um, and get in there and get out. Get in, get out, have a good game plan. Thank you for watching this YouTube. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. I hope you got all your questions answered if you had any. Again, I do have a support code with navigation. It's Lydia, you can use it at checkout. And if you do use it, send me your, send me screenshots. I wanna see, I, I wanna thank everyone personally. It's so cool and so surreal. I've, I've wanted to work with navigation for so long. It's probably the first brand that I ever wore in the gym. So this is such a cool full circle moment for me. But yeah, if you do use my code Lydia at checkout, let me know and good luck. <laughs> Happy shopping and I will see you next time for probably another try on.